A connection-oriented protocol such as TCP is required for establishing a connection from a client to a server. The so-called three-way handshake consists of the following steps. The client that wants to connect to the server sends a SYN packet. This expresses the client's wish to connect to the server. In the next step, the server confirms the connection request with an ACK packet. ACK stands for acknowledgement, that is, it is a simple confirmation. In addition to this, the server also expresses a connection request with the client, which is why a SYN packet is also sent from the server to the client in this second step. What does the client do? Well, it again sends an ACK packet to the server, confirming the receipt of the SYN packet. Afterwards, the data exchange between the client and the server can take place. But wait, the technical specification of the three-way handshake in RFC 793 talks about four steps. That's true, but steps two and three can be combined. Think of it this way. The server sends a SYN ACK packet consisting of two packets in the second step. In this case, the client would then acknowledge the receipt of the SYN ACK packet. Since we think of SYN and ACK as two independent packets in this example, the client, like the server in step 2, theoretically acknowledges only the SYN packet. In RFC 793, the term sequence number was mentioned. What is meant by this? Well, these are numbers that serve two main functions. Packet order. TCP splits data into smaller segments before sending them. Since these segments may take different paths to the destination and arrive in a different order, all segments are assigned a sequence number. The receiver uses it to restore the segments to the correct order before forwarding them to the application layer. This ensures that the received data is assembled correctly and that the file does not end up corrupted. Error detection. When a TCP segment is received, the receiver sends an ACK packet back to the sender, telling it what sequence number to expect next. If the sender does not receive this acknowledgement within a certain time window, it assumes that the segment has been lost and sends it again. The sequence number can therefore be used to determine which segments have been lost and which have been sent or received twice, so called duplicates. And what does it look like in practice? What are the sequence numbers sent by the client or the server and what do they mean? The client sends a request to the server with the sequence number 1000. This number is randomly selected by the client. The ACK number is zero because we do not have anything to acknowledge at the beginning of a TCP connection setup. The SYN number on the other hand is one because the client is sending a SYN packet. When the server has received the request, it sends an ACK packet. This ACK packet has the number 1001. Why 1001 and not 1000? Well, because 1 is added to the original sequence number when it is acknowledged. The reason for this is that the SYN packet itself is counted as one transmitted byte. After all, sequence numbers are used to name the bytes in the data stream and since the SYN packet itself occupies a space in the data stream, the server increments the sequence number by 1. It also provides its own sequence number, in this case 2345, which is also randomly chosen by the server. Furthermore, since a SYN packet is sent, it receives the SYN number 1. Now we put ourselves back into the role of the client. The client receives the response to its previous SYN request from the server in the form of a SYN and ACK packet. Just like the server before, it acknowledges the receipt of the packet with an ACK that is assigned the number 2346. Again, the sequence number of the previous step is incremented by 1, so the client uses ACK number 2346 instead of 2345. That means the client acknowledges the receipt in the same way as the server does, namely by incrementing the sequence number by 1. From the client's point of view, it now sends the next message to the server, which is equal to its previous sequence number from step 1, 1000 plus 1. The SYN number is 0 again because no SYN packet is sent. That's it for the three-way handshake. 
If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.